What I get inspired by is leading and not following, charting our own course, creating our own unique adventure. This is going to really take the idea of a gallery to another level. Taking a post office and turning it into a, to something that's completely different uh, uh, takes a lot of imagination, and, and I think that's what inspires us. Every place has its identity that you have to understand. First of all, you have an asset there that you can build on. This building was the product of a very interesting time in history. There was a period of extraordinary growth. The United States government tried to encourage that growth by placing post offices, encouraging communication and the movement of goods, ideas across the country. So Greenwich got their congressman to go to Washington to ask for a post office that would be appropriate for the prestige and the prosperity of Greenwich. And what they received was a jewel. Whatever we were going to do with that post office, it was going to have to be smashing and beautiful in order to be accepted by the public. What's interesting with these old buildings is, from an exterior point of view, they look magnificent, right? But from an interior point of view, the interior in the back of the house of the post office was basically a big empty shell. It had been modified, it had been changed, it created a lack of symmetry. So we had to gut the entire building now. And I remember when I got to the location and everything was gone, except for the perimeter brick walls on three and a half sides, all being held up by stilts, right? So it looked like a Hollywood set. No lights, no nothing, but you could see right through everything. And I think it was a huge shock. We've done this, you know, this is, this is it? My God, we've destroyed the whole thing. And you had to do it to get what we needed what Jim is marvelous at doing is he went back and found the original plans and understanding what was the logic of the original architect. And we realized it was all centered on this historical obelisk. Everything was essentially coming together to one point in the middle of an intersection of Arch Street and Greenwich Avenue. Everything emanated from that. And so what Jim did, he was able to create harmony between the exterior and the interior. He was able to line up all the exterior windows with the interior sight lines. The genius part is we were able to basically double the square footage without any impact to the exterior historical building. So we, we took all the part that was not historical internally and made it look like it was historical and added a tremendous grand staircase that went up to a skylight, that went up to a second floor, a conservatory and, and rooftop that if you didn't know, you'd think it was always there. So that when the public comes in, they say, this is absolutely beautiful. It's completely, you know, it's completely changed, but it looks like it's always somehow been here. It's the perfect example of a way that a historic building has been transformed into a building that will bring the best to Greenwich and will be a monument as it has been all along. It's certainly not uh, a cash and carry environment. It's, it's a lifestyle, a place to go and spend time. I think what we try to do is we try to create harmony. We try to create harmony with the community, we try to create harmony with the customers, and that harmony really comes from a, a respect of the community, a respect of the customers, a respect for what was, and a level of inspiration of what can be.